Hi guys, it's time for another dog sport DIY video. Today we're making a simple and affordable long jump setup. The setup is used in the Stafford Olympics tournaments for the long jump discipline. Sometimes this discipline is also called far jump. The goal is for the dog to jump as far as possible, measured horizontally, with a fixed run-up to keep the sport standardized and to allow us to compare dogs' scores. We'll explain what you need and how to build it. And a training video for this discipline will follow in the future, so you can figure out how to get started practicing with your dogs at home. Alright, let's get started. The base of the setup is made with film-faced plywood, a type of wood that is weatherproof on the surface. I have two panels of 125 by 60 cm cut in half lengthwise and worked with those 30 cm wide panels at home. I drew out a line along the middle of each sheet and marked it at 5 cm increments. I then made an indent at each marking so the drill would stay in place when I started drilling in the panels later. I then wrote down the number corresponding with each marked spot on both sides of the line so we can see how far a dog jumped on each side of the frame. I then drilled out 16mm holes, 5cm apart, on all three sheets. I first drilled all holes halfway until the middle of the drill poked through and then turned the sheet around and drilled the other way. Doing this, the resin film on the exterior doesn't split. Since we need half circles cut out of the top of each side of the long jump frame, I first drilled holes out of the 30cm wide panels before cutting them to the desired height of 15cm. That is much easier than starting off with the desired height and then cutting out half circles from the edge. As you can see, I only used three of my four panels to create a frame that is 375 long. My dogs don't require a longer frame with the standard run-up that we use and the 375 is way over their black star level. I do still have that fourth panel, so I can turn this into a 5 meter frame if I wanted to. Before putting our frame to use, it's important to protect those edges. I'm using a lead free primer for the base because it's bright orange and I love the color. It's designed to make wood weatherproof, or so I was told at the store. The top edge wasn't easy to paint and keep neat with a coloured paint, so I decided on a clear stain for garden furniture. Though we could make some wooden blocks to put the frame in place, I decided on using three stainless steel tent pegs per panel. Two on one side, one on the other. Which makes for a total of 18 tent pegs for this set of six panels. To form the actual obstacle for the dogs to jump over, we use 2 meter long PVC pipes for cables. These are lightweight, flexible and very affordable. We have a big bunch of these and around 50 or 60 should be plenty. Alright, I hope this video was useful. If you do try to make it, send us a video or a picture so we can see how it turned out. Have fun with your dogs this week and we will see you again on Tuesday. Goodbye!